say my neighbors must hate me. Oh, I got good neighbors. We battle see who can be the loudest. Sounds like he's working on his chainsaw over there. But uh, I want to show you a little bit on this mini bike I picked up. Pretty good shape. Now, I'm not sure if this is uh, one of the newer reproduction ones or if this is like one of them old rups. I'm not sure, so if any of you guys know, let me know. And when I got this, the sprocket on the clutch was snapped off. That back tire was bald. It was real sloppy in there. Boy, damn neighbors. And dogs. Shut up, dog. Bits. Shut up. So, I had to weld, uh, make some little pieces and put them in there and get the steering nice and tight, so it's good. But with this, uh, clutch here, it's got the centrifugal clutch. I'll show you the old one on there and show you how I got that all fixed. Cleaned it up, put a couple stickers on there. There yeah. you go. <laughs> put a new tire on it. Back one was completely bald. You know, that's great when somebody says, oh, dude, it does some sweet burnouts. So, yeah. But this thing runs good. It's got a six and a half horse. I think this is like one of them Harbor Freight Chinese engines or something, but hell, I'm happy with it. Go ahead and turn the fuel on, chokes on. Usually always starts first pull if you got the ignition on. Oh, call me a liar. There we go. Turn the choke off. See if I can rev it without taking off. Yeah. It runs good. I'll get a video of riding that here in a minute. But with the clutch issue on that, I guess they probably just did a bunch of burnouts and the back wheel grabbed pretty good and until it snapped the sprocket off. So here's the clutch that was on it. It's just this here. The engine gets spinning. And these little springs here, I guess they push out. And then these here catch on this outside casing and it engages it. You got this little brass fitting here. And you got a little cert clip in there. This little steel piece. I'm going to sprocket here, and this is where it snapped off. Had another little gap here with another 12th tooth sprocket. So uh, I guess that's where it snapped off at. I looked around for just that little piece here, and for what I found it for, about 10 bucks more, I get a complete new clutch that's a lot better. So uh, go ahead and uh, show you that and take her for a little spin. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you. Uh, if you have to get a new one, check the diameter of your uh, output shaft. Count the teeth on your sprocket. This is a 12 tooth. And look at the chain links. I ordered a new chain too. I didn't put it on, but probably we'll see it on this. Eh. Well, my old chain, it said 35 right on the link, so that told me it was a 35 chain size. So I just looked up, found a three-quarter bore. That's the diameter of the shaft, 35 chain, 12 tooth sprocket. So that's what I got on there. It's good to go, and let's take her for a little ride. I got all kinds of crazy ideas going on about this. You know, I'm six three, six four. I'm way too big for it, but yeah, I can still have some fun on it. Just thinking about making a little detachable something putting these little pipes here, come off, have a wheel back here, give a little wheelie bar, trying to make some videos doing some wheelies up and down the roads. So uh, let's see if we can make some more noise than my neighbor.
Well, I got her put in for the night. Never fails. We had buggered up the fender a little bit on the back. Tried to straighten it up a little bit, but never fails, man. I, I, I'll go ride anything. I mean, I've had 600, that XR600, I get on big bikes, whatever. I get on these little things, man. I always wreck. I don't know. These little 80s, 100s, get me on a 50, mini bike, whatever. I just can't handle them. They got, they're too much for me. But uh, there's a little bit on it. She got some torque. <laughs> But I'll get you some more videos on both of these and uh, keep you updated on all the projects. So, thanks for watching.